Good afternoon, my name is Bookman. And I say hello and hi, greeting, Otep, Aya Bombay to everyone worldwide. Love and light to the universe, love and light to nature, and love and light to everyone and the entire planet. This little short video I'm recording also with a display of a cartoonish a cartoon image of a warrior or king or children that used to look back in the day that used to enjoy nature and IT a motherland or spiritual land that you see is turned to a term oil almost for 45 years now since the so-called United States by the administration of Clinton that were preparing with the help of the Vatican, with the help of other um, country that hit the Asian people, hit a country because of or independent, that we fought them off the land, we took of freedom from the time of slavery. They hate us, they hate our children, just like most of you that close your ears blindly to see what's going on in Dominican Republic. What the administration of from Tulio now to Abinadel, what they doing to the Asian people every day that they murdering our people uh, daily and uh, in the West which is the land where Dominican folks living is belong to the Asian people. The Dominican folks has no land. They never have a independent. Every history you see in Dominican Republic is belong to the Asian people. For some of you that don't know, go do your research, go do your history, the Asian people, learn about yourself learn about who you are you're not any type of being you are a king a warrior a empire a leader a spiritualist you all of the above for some of you that don't know this is a special message from the old soul bookman that we turn to work with Mother Gaia, the universe, and to help bring peace in humanity worldwide. A special recording for the Asian speaking children, IT, and United States, all over the world, that never have experience to travel with your parents and IT to learn and know your parents' culture, how IT used to look, the beauty of the land, the powerful of our warrior, our ancestor, our culture, our morality, or education we used to have before uh, the so-called democracy step the foot to our land with the help of the Vatican that will create a master you call Jean Bertrand Aristide that was a priest a woman charismatic priest that was serving in Cité Soleil you call Saint Jean Bosco this man was trained they were grooming him to become a leader in the poor community and you know the rest go do your history go learn about Aristide Jean Bertrand Aristide is not worth it to talk about him even though the previous government that was before him there wasn't perfect neither but at least what I'm seeing going on in Haiti for the past 40 45 years I don't think we want to compare the democracy with the so-called dictator 
François Duvalier, later on his son Jean-Claude Duvalier, take over to continue one in office in IT. The Asian speaking English and also Creole, any language that you speak, the special videos for you. Also the indigenous Aboriginal children that all over the world, especially here in the West. I'm, show, I'm showing you a cartoonish video including your parents, your ancestors, your king, your queen, your powerful men, the way they used to look, the way they used to dress. It's just a simple, but it's just a short image of the dress code, but it's not like the entire dress code uh, they used to look. There is more to that, but I'm just showing you an example. Our children, IT used to live as a community. They used to respect the elder, they respect the uncles, the brother, the sister, the auntie. They respect the community. Our children didn't have the access to follow what's been going on in the Western world that has no morality. The Western world here, the modern Western world here, and then all over the world, they have no culture. If you look it up, if you here in the United States, every place you go eat or drink, anything you do, all the dish by create, all the drinks created by another culture from international. I don't care how you name it. If you look deeply from the Western Indies, they have no culture here in the United States. They don't. Everything you see they follow, any places they go, all of that has a history of another country behind it. Sadly, our children in IT with the cell phone now and with uh, the media that been betrayed, that been uh, brainwashed, or young men and women, they been brainwashed them to show them how the so-called music, the hip hop, the way the dress code, the language they speak, everything that been going here, been going on here in the Western, in the Western world, or should when been following all of the above. That's what going on in IT. For some of you that don't know that. So technically, or should they lost the consciousness, the spiritualist, the spirituality, the roots, the culture, everything, you name it. That's what's been going on. So, sadly, you see the chaos that's going on in our community. Our children then have weapon. They don't know anything about weapon that you see in the, in the so-called ghetto community, you see these young men and young women that homely with powerful USA weapon that sent from the United States to destroy the community. The marijuana, the cocaine, they involve, the killing, the, 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 the murdering, they burn each other, the, the killing, uh, the, the, the burn up or the human being you see is going on in IT. This is our this is not our nature. This is not our people. This is a way the way you see all people behaving or children behave in IT and they have no respect for the elder anymore, for the community anymore. And they not listen to anyone anymore. This is not us. They learn behave like that as a barbaric 
non-humane, non-soul from the Western world, including even our children here in the United States. Our children here in the United States, they don't listen to their parents. They don't have no respect for the mother. They have no respect for the father. They have no respect for the community, no respect for the teacher. Even the school they've been going to, they shouldn't be going to that school because the school they're going to is not teaching them anything about morality, respect. They're not even learning anything in the textbook. That's what you see even though children has the PhD, they still don't get the, they don't get the reality. Some of them, they learn the eight years education, academic, they're using their brain, they go by, they be able to become a scientist, a so-called scientist, a so-called doctor, a so-called engineer, and they still don't get it. That's what you see the world is going the way the world is today because of the type of young men and young women we brought off. The training we give them, they're not getting it. That's what been going on, my people. Asian children used to be so respectful. The dress code, um, the language they speak, the way they eat, the way they think. We lost all that. Just like, you know, what they did here to our children, what they did to the Japanese people when they were giving them opium, just what they did to uh, Russia before Vladimir Putin, the youth was hook up in alcohol. That's what's going on even here in the United States. When you look at our children, what they doing? They don't know anything about play outside anymore, enjoy nature, play with each other, and the community build. They don't have that. That been taken away from them. Give them the cell phone, give them the tablet, put them in front of TV, as soon they born, two years, they already watching cartoon and a tablet and the top of mother. Now we have to give birth to our children. Now they mentally sick. They're not preparing to have children. That's what you see so much chaos in the world, so much chaos in the indigenous people and the Aboriginal people worldwide. Uh, most of our Aboriginal men, they all in jail here in the United States, which is the jail. That's another topic. I'm going to have to do a video on it. The jail is a business just like in Wall Street. Okay? Most of our women are single. There is no manhood in the house. We're losing all that. We're losing the way of life, the way we used to live, the connection we used to have with our family. We lost all that. It's so sad when I'm here in the West. I can't even say speak properly to a young blood that look like me. They always thinking all the way. The mindset is not okay. They can even answer you properly. They, they you walking on the street. They just looking in your backside like they looking. They they it's just like a dog. They wanna sniffing up your back. So these are the kind of men we have now. That's all we playing a role to destroy the indigenous men, the Aboriginal men, and they do it. They're doing very well of doing that since we don't have a community and we don't have men and women that see except a couple of them that already transitioned. Dr. Blair see it. Uh, Dr. Francis, Francis Frisco, she saw that. And a couple of the indigenous women and men that transition now, they see what's going on. But Louis Matabikekin, he didn't see that. So he was. they were playing him and he was playing himself. So... Malcolm Max see it and couple of the elder they see the falling of our indigenous of the Aboriginal people that was going to take place for our people. The the the, the enemy always thinking for us. The enemy always know the way what we're gonna do to destroy the indigenous and the Aboriginal people. Do you know some of these so-called businessmen here? They learn, they know what the indigenous people, the Aboriginal people, what they like. Like the fake hair, the fake nail, they love shopping. Do you know? I'm gonna say in the way for you to understand the indigenous people and the Aboriginal people, they were the most consumer in the planet. And we don't build anything, we didn't create anything except the Black Wall Street that was destroyed by a coupon clan. Since when what do we have? The Chinese come in here, they build on our well, the Asian come in here, they build on our the chat, the Indian, the Latin America. American, 
the Spaniel come in here, they build on us, the, the European come in here, they build on our back. Every race come in here, they build in our community. They is placing the shop in our community, but us. This is what we're gonna, what's been going on. The Arabs come in here, the Lebanese, the Syrian, everybody go by here, enjoy the wealth that our ancestors built here, except the Aboriginal indigenous people. I think I'm going to stop now. It's just a quick message to show to all people worldwide what happened to us. Something happened to us. When are you guys going to be wake up? I know most of you are democracy, like to vote for Democrat, even the Republican and Democrat, they are the same scumbag. They're not any different than each other because they're not going to work for you. Okay, you don't have a business to get a big tax break. You don't have that. But I know some of you don't with that so-called Obama that came to office. And Obama is not the first Aboriginal mixed man that went to Washington. We do work. Our ancestor, the one who was one in the world. For some of you that don't know, go do your research. This little video is to show the Asian children speaking worldwide. IET used to be a beautiful land for you to go on vacation if you live anywhere in the world. So your mother should be happy to send you back home to connect with the spiritual land. Haiti wasn't a shithole land. The way Haiti looks today, that's not the land of Haiti. I say Haiti, sorry. The land name is Haiti, not Haiti. This is a message, special message from the old soul to you young people, young men. Hopefully, someday, you'll be able to visit Haiti to connect with the land, connect with your mom and dad land and your ancestor, the empire, Jinjak de Saline, that free all of us from slavery. Take care for now. Bye-bye. With that being said... The PowerPoint, the video, speak for itself is to show the young people, elder, all age, how our ancestors used to be clean, dressed up properly. Even some of the Im image that I put up there is more, it, it's kind of stylish. Because when we look back, our ancestors used to be dressed up, they covered up every part of the body. But when I look in ancient Kemet, our ancestors also show the beauty of the skin, makeup beautifully, the dreadlocks, very beautiful. So this is just a, a PowerPoint that to shows a man used to look very clean, or men have a nice, beautiful haircut, beautiful face dressed up with the pants properly not the leggings you see the way men these days dressing up not the way the leggings you see the women married women walking on the street with all of their business showing up in the street in the public place so all that is to showing all people all children that to return home return to your culture nothing new under the sun to return the way your ancestor used to respectfully and by the way our indigenous aboriginal uh ancestor when i look an image they they used to explore the skin to nature they don't put when they're in nature they don't put a lot of clothes on themselves because you're supposed to get the energy from the sun so if we look back anakaona the king the queen um all over the world not just in it I can see the way they used to be dressed beautifully as a chief, as a shaman. So, the videos, the image from uh, the cartoon to our children that used to play, that used to work together, they used to go to school, the scientists they were learning in, um, in the classroom, the, um, they play, the dreadlock they have, the style they have, the respectful, you see, they bake with the with the grandmother, the the relationship they have with the community, and uh, pretty much the image said a lot. The indigenous or spiritualist uh, artifacts I put there for you guys. I also put in the Empire Jinjak de Salin image with the General to Saint Louis, Christophe um, 
the King Henri Christophe and uh, Bookman's image, Paul Biasso, Jean Francois. So, is this an example to show you? Uh, the way you see your people dressed up, the way they look up with all the fake hair, the fake nails, the fake everything, the fake boobs, the fake butt, top, that's not us. We don't use to look waggedy in the street. We used to dress proper. We used to respect the community, respect the elder or spiritualist shaman. So we must return back home to our culture, the way our ancestors, the footprint our ancestors left for us. For some of you that want to live in a Western so-called modern style, this is not your style. This is not the way you used to look. I see men in the street, the stress pens, they're supposed to go to the gym with. That's what they walk in a public place with. Women, same thing. The women don't cover up the body anymore. The women look so disgusting in the street. It is embarrassing. The marriage doesn't last too long anymore. Our ancestors used to be married for the rest of their life, only if, if death separate them from each other. But what you see this day, the woman's always in the children by themselves, and the children are out of control. The children has no respect for the little brothers and sisters, the community, and the mother. This is the lifestyle I see is going on to our people all over the world. It's not just in IT, but IT is a special place. IT is a beautiful land. It's a beautiful spiritual place that it has a wish culture, wish everything in Haiti being places and the most powerful place on the earth. You see why the outsider that hate Haiti so much because they know the power, the, the culture, the root, the history of Haiti. That little video is for you young people. I made it in English. We shouldn't be in democracy. IT is not a republic, IT is an empire. We have to restore the land and empire with its culture, the color of the flag, which is black and red, and the coat of arm, which is two lions, a male and a female, and a, a hooster at the middle, and the crown, and the top hole, and the lion paw. Okay? Our people don't know anything about bisexual. Or people don't know anything about the way men and women, the way men and men fooling around, women and women fooling around, or children used to be in harmony with nature, or children used to be uh, um, in balance because our ancestors, the shaman, if anything in the community, if one of us wasn't in balance, the shaman know what to do to make us balance ourselves because we both energy, masculine and feminine. So we know what to do when one of when one of us is unbalanced how to balance ourselves back love and light to all of you this first video is the education channel to show our youth it the way here in the united states the way you guys discuss can look all over the place children now having relaxing in the hair children having weave in the hair this is not us we used to have time to go up we we, we enjoy our youthness, we enjoy our childhood, but not anymore since we've been following the Western world culture. Come back home, we turn to our indigenous culture, we turn to our aboriginal culture, we turn to who you are, nothing new under the sun. If you don't do that, one day all of us will be extinct in this planet. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening. Today is Monday, June 10, 2024. I was planning to record in that audio in the PowerPoint for the young people, the mother and the father, the grandfather. This is for all of you worldwide. Take care for now. Good afternoon, Gone Wise. My name is Bookman. Uh, this is a little bit of a short video that I'm recording to introduce um, the Asian children uh, English speaking that worldwide. I did one in, in, uh, in the Asian language, in Creole, 
And I said to myself, let me do another one that, in, that most of all Asian children that born here in the West or other places that speak English, that been told, that been seen in the media, uh, rubbish IT is how the youth, the, the children, uh, the behaving of our children back in IET. Um, also here in the West, because when you look the children that brought uh, ways here in the United States, I can speak for UK and Canada and French because I don't live there. If I don't live in that those country, I will not be able to speak on their behalf. But I know most people in the world, children, the young people, the 21st generation now, they all want to be copying the Western society, the European, the modern European society, um, music, the way they dress, the way they eat, the way they speak. I know most of the world being i mean want to copy them but they don't know the united states i mean the west that which is a usa a corporation that stole our ancestor land from the indigenous people the aboriginal people that they so called uh christopher columbus called indian we used to have a culture we have a community we have a way of life we used to have um, a morality. I saw we used to have a morality. We used to have uh, a, a family, a way of life. We used to um, we used to be uh, living like a, as a human being, but we lost all that since we've been uh, copying following uh other ways that doesn't look like us and go, we've been going to the school we've been going to the organization we've been working in the corporation and the way they set up the capitalist uh, country every parents now have to work two jobs even three jobs enable for them to make a living enable for them to provide for the family because the cost of living here in the United States is so expensive and the benefits you get in from this corporation is not worth it. It's nothing. I remember when I moved here to the state, we used to have pension. We used to have a little bit of better uh, so-called uh, cost of living, the cost of living for food, housing, and uh even the job wasn't paying. To this day, as we speak, the job still not paying uh, for the, the, the cost of living here in the in, in United States. But comparing uh, 35 years, 40 years ago, it, it makes a big difference. And it, it, it's not getting any better or government or really bad management or government or not governing the country the way they're supposed to. It is a hot mess, but this is not the topic. I'm just open, open up uh, before I talk about the topic that I want to talk. Uh, I just, uh, you know, open a parenthesis that to uh, letting the, the people or people that's uh, English speaking uh, uh, Asian children that go on the world, that, that all over the world. Uh, I put a lot of cartoonous image that we the way the children, mother, father, king, warrior, empire, culture that used to look like us, used to be us, used to live like a human being that has soul, used to live that human being that has character, that has a community, that uh, used to be like a parenthood, like a mother, father, grandmother, children, um we used to have that life children that used to play outside children that used to play with each other little brother that taking care of the little sister older brother that taking care of the little brother and sister grandparents cousin we used to have that life but 
unfortunately we lost all of that sense of way of life we lost a culture we lost our spirituality we lost the way of life we disconnect with nature we disconnect with everything that has life so and uh, that image the cartoonist image that i create with that background recording to you asian children that all over the world now all you heard is about uh, chaos in IET, the term oil that going on in IET, um, we, our country wasn't like that. Our country was a country that has coloring, that has culture, that has children that used to play outside, children that used to live in a community safe, or children don't know anything about heavenly uh, uh, military weapon that you see going on in IET right now. The killing, the whip, the murder, the organ trafficking, the kidnapping, the, the disrespectful that toward the children, the sexual abuse that toward the children, the brainwash, the mindset you see going on in our children and IT today, that's not that. So it makes a big difference. What's up, honey? How was your weekend? Good. How were you? It was okay, my dear. So that definitely don't 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 that definitely don't change that I mean that's not us. This is not a culture. That's not who we are. For some of you Asian speaking English uh, people, I, I'm not gonna do one in French because I don't even care to speak French and I forget most of my French anyway, because any language if you don't speak it, you're gonna lose it. I don't care for to speak French. Um, I used to like uh, Latin more. I used to speak more Spanish, but I end up losing that too. Because when you don't speak the language, you will lose it. So anyway, you see our, uh, our elder, our children, our community, how we used to like, how we used to take and care of each other. We used to live like king before the so-called democracy was bought to our country. I'm not saying the dictatorship was perfect for IET, for the Asian people, but we used to have security, or people used to live together, or people wasn't one and one because of insecurity, or children wasn't divided. Now, if you go to IET, or children is divided, or a family is divided, or family living on the street, or children being abused, being molested being abused by even international non-profit organization that in IT today so for some of you that don't know IT is a beautiful country is a beautiful land and it's not going to be like that forever we must restore our culture back we must go back to our woods and the so-called international um uh, uh, uh so-called diplomacy friendship with us like united states spain and europe the CALICOM, um, England, uh, or so-called a friend with uh, people, a so-called diplomacy friend. No, they are our enemy. These people don't ever want to see us Asian people to be wise up, to be living like the way your ancestor want us to live as a community, as a king, as a warrior, as his empire, and our children to have a a, a powerful education of children to have a, a great uh, environment to a great education, a great way of life. They don't want that for us. Just like you see the indigenous Aboriginal children here in the United States, you see the mental set they have, you see they confused, they all end up like drinking and smoking on their age, having children on their age. They don't have no education, all play a big role. And, uh, and all of that, it was a way to destroy all the indigenous people. That was another way of destroying us. And that was their plan, and the plan is working, but I'm not gonna give up. I'm a fighter, I'm a warrior, I'm a revolutionary. I will not give up to not see my people to rise back up, to live as a community. Again, we used to work together, we used to build together, we used to communicate together. We used to share our food together. We used to share everything together. 
they disconnect us. They take all that away from us. They did. So that's what's been going on to the Asian country, to my people, my community, just like this is going on here in the United States for so long by destroying, by murdering our children, by give them weapon by give them this like they did with the japanese they give them opium they destroy that generation just like they did to before vladimir putin they were destroying the youth the generation that been that been hooked up in vodka and alcohol this is what's going on in Haiti as well today so this is a short message i just recording to let all children in the world to know haitian people used to be living like the life wasn't perfect for them, but they used to be living in a, as a community. They used to sleep in the house with the door open because it's hot and Haiti. They used to be going places, going outside, enjoy life, and now they lose everything. So, what's up, baby?